time for O'Neill Outside with Travis Johnson. O'Neill Outside with Travis Johnson is presented each week by CBA. It's just a better gun. Hello again, everyone. I'm O'Neill Williams, and welcome to our program. Today, we're at Buchanan Shoals, an hour or so east of Charlotte, North Carolina, at a terrific quail plantation. You'll find out all about it. We're here because Bojangles Chicken and Biscuits donated two hunts along with Buchanan Shoals that benefited the Muscular Dystrophy Association and the March of Dimes. We should do more of that, don't you think? And you can find out all about this place and the quail hunting, and you can do that by watching O'Neill Outside today. Wool pants, wool pants, Jack. Jack, no, not yet. They're running, moving. They're running, I guess. Yeah, they're running, moving. There's the one, there they are. Good shot. Good bird. You got one, JJ? Yeah, he got it. Knocked him out. I shot one. I got one. I got one. Gonna be headed your way, Wilson. All right. Just like that. Up, up, up. I want to introduce to you Wilson. He's from the the uh, Charlotte area. What? Uh, give me a little bit about your hunting history, sure. please. Well, I grew up at an early age. My mother grew up on a farm, actually not far from here. Uh -huh and I uh, grew up going quail hunting um, and dove hunting. And then more recently, uh, one of the individuals I work for has, uh, they have a, a hunting ranch in Texas and so I do a lot of quail hunting down there. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have, a, yes, be sir. able to have a place close by. It is. What, an hour away? For sure, yeah, this is great. This yes, is great right sure here. It sure is. Yeah, it's a really beautiful property and um, it seems like great birds. Well, you'll be back to Buchanan, I'll bet. Absolutely, yeah, this is a great place. Oh. Did you get it? <laughs> you almost did, didn't you? Hey, look out. You got your speech over there now, don't you? I want to introduce you to J.J. Schoenberg. He's the, he's the quiet one of this pair showing up today. And you've done some of this before. I have done a little bit down in, in Falfurious, Texas a few times. Nice. He's a businessman from Charlotte and he's part of the group that uh, the chain of command that got some money for the March of Dimes and it turned out pretty well, didn't it? It did, it worked out well for everybody. That's what are you shooting today? Shooting a 20 gauge. 20, okay. 28 and 20, that's what you need for these things, isn't it? For the pl plantation shoots? I think so. Yeah, carrying around 12 gauge can get kind of laborsome. <laughs> you bet. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, having a great time. I hope so, and you'll be back to Buchanan, I'll Absolutely. bet you. Absolutely. Yeah, I will, <laughs> we both will. O'Neill Outside with Travis Johnson, brought to you by your Southeast Toyota dealer. Let's go places. Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. The Whitetail Institute of North America, research equals results. The Furminator, best food plot implement on earth. Conus, shoot like a pro. Tough Shed, premier builder of sheds and garages. And by Zach Brown Southern Grind Knives. Only the best make the cut. You ready, Jeff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got two out of that time. Big Covey. Up. 
There you are. Good shooting. It's that straightaway shot. Yeah, that was just. <laughs> Probably. Yep. You got him that time. JJ. He's a natural. You're going to enjoy a little background on this fabulous club and the building and so on. There's a story here, and I want you to tell it. Where, where, where did this building come from? So our lodge is actually an old train depot. Um, the closest town to us is a little town of Morvan, North Carolina, which mm -hmm. is about five miles away. Uh, railroad's been abandoned for 40, 50 years, but this building was sitting there on the side of the, what was the old railroad, and we noticed it, saw it, picked it up, and uh, actually moved it down here in one piece, mm -hmm. renovated it, um, and that's what we have as our lodge. It's about a, it's pushing about 140 years old. Uh, now see, he's deflecting some attention here because I heard the story last night. He saw this building. He passed by the building a lot, and he thought that would really make a great lodge. That would make a great building, and he did it. We did. We uh, see we. Yeah. <laughs> We uh, happened to see a, a little bitty for sale sign sitting up in the eve of this building, and uh, yeah, I'd seen it for years. Went, mm -hmm. looked at it, recognized that it was old, but it was intact, had a good roof, and um, yes, yeah, so the structural part of it was good, and we we this it got us to where we are. So. For some of the best wild bird hunting in North Carolina, fabulous meals, lodging, it's a terrific destination. Buchanan Shoals, and you can say hello to Jason when you get here. Oh! Hey, our classic. Classic, Wilson. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Whoop. Couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist it. I'm I know. Sorry. I, oh, I done seen. I said he's gonna kill that one. <laughs> we still got one on the ground here. No. Good boy, Jack. Back, right here. Back. Up. There you go. This is a dead one right here. Binoculars. We all use them. Here's a little extra tip about it that you may find application. When you get into the stand early and late, you want a glass. You want to survey deep into the woods. If there are deer out in a food plot or in the field, you can see them just fine. What you want to be able to do is see deep into the woods before they get there. Turkeys, hogs, deer, no matter what. Once you glass when you get there, you need to re-glass because as the sun rises or the sun sets, it changes the shadows you'll be able to see more and you'll be surprised how different it really does look as the time passes. Re-glass from the stand with your binoculars and that's your Conus hunting tip of the week. This portion of O'Neill Outside is presented by the Georgia Department of Tourism and Economic Development, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Resources Division, and Georgia State Parks and Historic Sites. Look out! Boy, I tell you what, he's a dangerous man on that side, isn't he? <laughs> when they're going left to right, we got a dangerous person here. Come to think of us, if they're going right to left, he's a dangerous person. Jack. Oh, oh. Hey. Good, Jack.
Did I hit one? Did I? Oh, look out! Oh man! Oh. This this is gonna have to be like the, that African hunt. First, you hear the crack of the rifle, and the first thing the P8 says is reload. Yeah. Now. <laughs> All around us. <laughs> Didn't get him all the way though. What a great idea this would be for you to take your son, your grandson, some of the family members. This is so much better than going deer hunting. Deer hunting, you go sit in the stand and you be quiet, you can't talk. This is a social occasion. And what a fabulous idea it would be to take a kid along, even one in the neighborhood whose dad is not a hunter, maybe. What do you think? Treat him to a hunt like this, half day here at Buck Annan Shoals. It'll be worthwhile and he'll remember it the rest of his life. You ready? Uh huh. I don't see him. There you go. One shot, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a criminal or something, you know? <laughs> Boom. JJ. Where are we? JJ! Good shot, buddy. On trips of this nature, quail plantations like Buchanan Shoals, and the guide here is Heath, we don't really do much hunting. The dogs do the hunting. Do so I know the, uh, the audience would like to know a little bit more about the dogs. So tell us about Jack. Jax is, he's a five-year-old lab. Mm -hmm. He's an Irish lab. He's been completely trained as far as hand signals, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to do whatever with him. And as you can see today, he kind of hangs unless I tell him to do anything. This is a flushing dog. Yep. I use him two ways. I use him for duck hunting and I use him oh, okay. for quail hunting. So he gets to have fun once duck season's out, he still gets to continue to have fun. Well, Labradors have fabulous personalities yes. and dispositions, don't they? Jack, he's one of those dogs, man. He just, he could, you could play with him. He can mm -hmm. go home with the kids, mm -hmm. whatever you want him to do. He's laid back, he's, he's got a great personality. Okay. What's his life like? How long is he trained? And then how long does he hunt, he and the other dogs? You know, they starting out, we start training them at about a year old. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine is going to be, you know, getting into the later years I of see. hunting. Okay. You can get a little longer than that, depending on the dog and how hard, you know, whatever he's taking. But or right, well, he loves life. This is what oh, he's yeah. just wild for what this. For. Yeah. Now, at that eight, nine, ten year mark, whatever that case might be, and they retire, what happens to these dogs? Listen up now, this is important. Either A, they come home with me and they're just a pet if mm. they're, you know, mine, or we find someone that wants a pet. You know, they, they get a good home. They get to retire. They get to retire, a good home, go get laid back and lay around in the yard, whatever, uh -huh. you know. Um, or, you know, of course, they stay here and we'll let them out occasionally, let them mm -hmm. do their thing or whatever. But they get, they live, they, they live a very good life around yes, here. Yes, they do. <laughs> All right, one last question. Now, listen to this. What are these dogs worth? If I walked up here and I wanted to buy one of these two dogs, what would you have to have to sell him to me? Surprise question. Reasonable, reasonably priced, Katie or uh, Jack. Katie, uh, pointing dogs. Uh, Panzer, I probably wouldn't take no less than 2,500 for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jack's because of what he is and, and all the, the training he's been through and all, it'd probably take eight grand to get him. Oh boy. When you visit Buchanan Shoals or another place like this, I can tell you the most entertaining portion of the hunt is the dogs. That's what I love about it. I have you, people all the time ask me, you don't ever get to shoot? I don't need to. I'm watching you're my dogs. watching the dogs. We have more from O'Neill and Travis, but first, let's thank these sponsors. Works PowerShare, share batteries, save money. QDMA, where deer hunters belong. FireAid, 
Don't fight fires, extinguish them. Year One, your source for muscle car parts. Rugged Ridge, your Jeep, your adventure. And by Thoroughgood, over 125 styles of job-fitted footwear, proudly made in the USA since 1892. Now, let's join O'Neill for some flavorful cooking with Swaggerty's Farm Sausage. Wait till you try this. Listen to it. I've had sweet potatoes. I cooked them in the oven. Put cheddar cheese in them. Now, I, I'm using some bratwurst. Swaggerty's Premium Bratwurst. You can use Italian, Italian Hot, Beer Brats, or Bratwurst. Put them on the grill, cook them in the oven. Oh, oh boy. Look at this. This is going to be too good looking to eat. All right, then to finish it up, Ooh, that look, really looks great. Finish it up. Some red onions, but put some lemon on it. That changes the flavor and it fits with all of this perfectly. Then some chipotle mustard. Probably should have put that on last, shouldn't I? And then some pickles. The sausage is what counts. And if that doesn't look special, I don't know what does. Sweet potato dogs, man. That looks great. Sweet potato dogs using bratwurst from Swaggerty's Farm. You can retrieve the recipe at swaggerties.com and O'NeillOutside.com. Time for the Zach Brown Southern Grind Knife Guestbook. This week from Kevin Brennan in Rochester Hills, Michigan. What is the advantage, if any, to using a full-size 50 caliber projectile as opposed to a 45 caliber in a sabot out of a 50 caliber muzzleloader? The full-size bullet 50 caliber is much better because it engages the rifling versus a 45 caliber bullet in a sabot or a sabot, which means shoe, the plastic would engage the rifling. You'll be delivering a full-size bullet much larger and much likely much more accurate. If you'd like to be a winner of a Zach Brown Southern Grind Jackal Black and Tan Knife, Go to O'NeillOutside.com. The Zach Brown Southern Grind Knife Guest Book is right there on the home page. If we use your comment or question on the air in the show, we'll send you the knife. It'll last you forever. Let me introduce to you Jason Kiker. He's the owner of Buchanan Shoals. What are you, an hour and a half east of Charlotte? That's right, about an hour and a half from okay. Charlotte. Yes, sir. How big is this place? Oh, we got about 5,500 acres. About seven miles of frontage on the PD River, uh, right here at the South Carolina line. It is indeed a pleasure. It's my second visit here. You've made this a very unusual place. You manage the property and land, and you made it last a long, long time. How do you get this done? Well, we're a private club. We do a lot of deer hunting, turkey hunting, dove hunting, um, and then, of course, our quail hunting, which you guys took part in, and uh, our quail hunting is the one thing we are open to the public for. And your background is such that it makes it real credible, and what is your background? I'm a forester by trade, so mm -hmm. managing the, the timber and the land, uh, as far as land management, is, is what I do. Yes, okay, sir. but you're doing something different here with the birds that really makes it a hunt. What is it you do? Well, we started, uh, I guess it was 10, 12 years ago, and our membership was the one that pushed us to do it. They wanted us to do something different than your typical quail hunting preserve, uh, mm -hmm. more like a put-and-take operation, where we, we decided we, we wanted to do it different. We raise our birds in serrigators uh, on our quail grounds, which are uh, manicured and managed to, you know, for quail habitat. And uh, like I said, the one thing Mother Nature can't produce enough of that we like to, that all our hunters like to shoot is quail. So we raise them outdoors uh, through surrogators, early release program, uh, and then supplement as needed through the season. You don't put them out at eight o'clock and shoot them at nine? No, sir. These birds are, that we shot today, 
were placed in the area when? Starting uh, in May of last year, so over seven months ago. These are wild birds. Keep Buchanan Shoals. Look them up. How do they find you? Best place is to go to our website, thecannonshoals.com. Sneedsboro, North Carolina. It's worthwhile. Before I leave you today, I'm excited to tell you about a book. It's called O'Neill Outside, People and Places Along the Way, 65 Years in the Outdoors. It's not a how-to book. It's my stories and my adventures. I hope you'll enjoy it. I know that you will. One dollar of every sale goes to the Ronnie Thames Foundation for children burn victims. It'll be worthwhile. If you don't like the book, I'll send you your money back. Visit O'NeillOutside.com, click on the book cover, you'll be directed as to how to buy it.